An Indian Coast Guard ship returning from a goodwill visit from Japan, was shadowed by a Chinese Coast Guard vessel near the contested Scarborough Shoal, highlighting ongoing tensions in the South China Sea. Indian Army has deployed over 30,000 Sumbaf smartphones for officers for secure communications. LNT is developing lightweight bulletproof material in collaboration with Amrutu University. While talks were underway for two BrahMos missile batteries with Philippines Army, reports indicate that Philippines Army is now advancing to acquire nine additional BrahMos anti-ship missile batteries. India and Indonesia have reached a consensus on the pricing for the supply of BrahMos cruise missiles worth $450 million to the Indonesian Armed Forces, and this agreement comes just ahead of Indonesian President visit to New Delhi. India plans to commission the Russian-manufactured Voronezh radar at the RDO campus, that is known for its impressive 8,000 km range. Italy is actively seeking to involve India in its part of the Eurodrone Medium Altitude Long Endurance Drone Project, a collaborative European initiative also involving Germany, France and Spain. A senior official from Safran has confirmed that the forthcoming 110 kN thrust engine to be developed in collaboration with gas turbine research establishment for the AMCA program, will feature a completely new core design, and will not share any core components or technology from the M88 engine, and will be designed from the ground up to meet the unique specific requirements of the AMCA. He also said, that the engine would incorporate some of the advanced technologies that are anticipated in sixth-generation aircraft programs, that includes advancements in materials science, propulsion efficiency, and possibly in engine control systems. The ownership of intellectual property rights will remain with GTRE, and there will be no restrictions on export. The Safran official also said, that GTRE's production partner will receive orders for over 1,000 engines over the next few decades, which also hints at the engine's potential integration into other Indian fighter jet programs like TED BF Tejas Mark II or even Rafale aircraft. Bangalore-based New Space Research and Technologies has started development of the Abhimanyu Collaborative Combat Aircraft that is designed to operate as part of a manned-unmanned -man teaming system, providing a cost-effective and expendable solution, that can be deployed in large numbers for multiple mission profiles including intelligence surveillance and reconnaissance, kinetic attacks decoy operations and electronic warfare. Russia has approached India to reconsider the development of the multi-role transport aircraft project. And this proposal comes at a time when the Indian Air Force is currently in the process of issuing a tender for 60 new medium transport aircraft. Recognizing the opportunity to re-enter this market, Russia has proposed revisiting the joint development, with the offer to equip the aircraft with engines featuring full authority digital engine control. Despite this new offer, the Indian Air Force remains steadfast in its preference for Western or European commercial engines for the Indian variant of the medium transport aircraft. Today's Top 3 Comments